In this video, we will learn how to make a Venn diagram in Adobe Illustrator. I've seen a lot of videos on Adobe Illustrator, and it's usually three you know, circles that are overlapping, and they're really just a fancy diagram just to make something look cool. So it would look something like this. So I'm going to go to the Ellipse tool. Um, if you don't see the Ellipse, click and hold. Uh, you might see a rectangle go down to the Ellipse tool. And uh, let's make a no outline and let's select red. And I'm going to click and then with my left mouse button, hold the shift key to make it a circle, release. Then I'm going to click on the selection tool. I'm going to hold the alt key until I see that little arrow on the bottom of, you know, see there's a black arrow and a white arrow. I'm going to click with my left mouse button, drag. Still holding the Alt key, click with my left mouse button, drag, okay. And then um, I'm going to make this, I don't know, a blue, click on this one, maybe, I don't know, green. And I select all of them and I make the uh, opacity 50. And there's the Venn diagram. If I want to make it look pretty, I select these two objects. Click the bottom, align bottom. If you don't see this toolbox here, sorry if I didn't mention it, um, click on the control bar uh, in the Windows tab. Okay, so I align to the bottom, and then I'm going to select all three of these. Um, horizontal distribute center, and there you go. There's that Venn diagram. This is pretty and you might know, put some you know different names and maybe different institutions and that sort of thing and how they overlap maybe different functions of a company or something like that but mathematically this is not very useful scientifically you're really not useful at all chance you, you might have a situation where you have maybe a gene um, maybe do an RNA seq or something where you have two sets of genes you might have um, holding the shift key and dragging it down, you might have two treatment groups, treatment A, and you have some genes that are upregulated and that condition, and then you have a treatment B, and you have some genes that are upregulated in treatment B, and then you have some genes that are upregulated by both treatment A and treatment B. Now, you want to represent the proportions exactly proportional to the numbers that you have and the, and the degree of overlap that in that sort of diagram is very challenging to find. I haven't I haven't seen it at all on uh, YouTube tutorials. And so that's what we're going to do today. So first of all, we need to generate that Venn diagram, at least the bare bones of it. So I want to go to a website and actually it's very challenging to find a website that actually calculates a correct Venn diagram. Um, it's all that, that other very less useful um, Venn diagram. Uh, but this, this, this website is fantastic, it's perfect. Uh, it's called academo.org, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, demos, Venn diagram generator. Um, and I'm, I'm going to leave uh, the link in, in the description. So I'm going to uh, reload that. So this is this is what you'll see if you scroll down here. And now you have the different portions and you can make these large or smaller um, based upon the overlap. So let's just deal with the most simplest case. Um, no C and we won't have any overlap with C. Oh, left one. There we go. And I don't know, let's make it obvious. Okay, so there's our Venn diagram. Let's save as an image, click on it, then right click and copy. Let's go to Illustrator and Control V. There's our Venn diagram. Now we want to redraw this in Adobe Illustrator. Um, and really there's no better way of doing it, let me click away and then click the circle, um, then to just do it manually. And it's not that challenging to do it manually. Come on, we can do it. Just um, make sure I, I make it 
have a black outline just so I could see the circle that I just drew. And again, click on the ellipse tool and just draw it any old size. We're going to fix it. Um, don't worry. So click on the selection tool and drag it over to the left and get all the way to the end of that circle and release. Drag it up to the top. And you can use that. There's that rectangle that, that surrounds that circle that you can use to line it up to the top edge. Okay, so there's the Venn diagram. I can delete that previous image. That's the bare bones of it, um, but let's make it look pretty. So I'm going to select these two objects and let's increase the line thickness. And let's copy this. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag it over. That's our outlines. Don't worry, you'll, I'll explain why you're going to do that in a little bit. Let's select these two objects. Let's remove the outline. And uh, let's actually give it a little bit of color so we don't lose track of our circles. All right, so I'm going to click on that circle and let's make it red. Okay. All right, there's our two colors. Select both of the objects. And over here at opacity, let's type 50%. Okay, so let's select these two other the, the outlines by clicking with my left mouse button and holding. And then now to drag it back, I need to, I need to have my mouse over one of the lines, click and hold and drag it back over. Now to get it exactly right, you have to kind of play around with it or there's an easier way. Let's do it the easier way. Hold Control G. That's going to group these. Now I'm going to select these two objects. Hold Control and G. Now I can select these, this object, hold Shift, and then with my left mouse button, click this object. And then let's click it again. So you see that blue circle around it. And let's go bottom line. And let's click on right align. And there's our Venn diagram. Now let's add some numbers so we can actually show some quantification here. Okay, we've got 62 is for A, that's on the left. I can't remember two numbers at the same time, so I'm just gonna type one at a time, 62. Oh, no, don't wanna download the template. Okay. Um, B is 50, okay, and A and B is 10, so this area right in here is 10. 10. Okay, so that 10 is going to go in here to the center. And this is not, this space right here is not 50, it's 50 minus 10, so it's 40. Okay. And this is 62 minus 10, so that's 52. Okay. And this was, and now these, you want to have them center align. So just make sure they're all center align. Hold, you know, click and hold the shift key while clicking with my left mouse button. And let's make sure that they're aligned this way. So there you go. There's a mathematically accurate way of drawing a Venn diagram.